Hey y'all, welcome back to The Propsmith. I am Justin Warren, also known as Nor Vestinger, also known as The Propsmith himself. Now, as you guys know from my previous video, um, I have moved from Missouri to Little Rock, um, Arkansas. And in the process of moving and stuff like that, I realized that my walls are kind of bare. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube because it's what I do. Um, so I figured I might try something. I'm going to try to make a spray paint uh, space painting. Uh, it's real simple. All you're going to need is some spray paint. I've got way more here than I actually need. I've got all kinds of colors. I think I'm only going to use black and white. Maybe a little red, but probably not. Then all you need is... I'm going to be using canvas. Um, you're going to need some kind of thing to make your planet. I'm going to be using a bowl. Um, you're going to need either an empty plastic bag or a piece of um, magazine paper, uh, glossy. So other than that, you really don't need anything. Um, something that does come in handy are gloves because if not you'll get paint on your fingers especially when you're doing stars um, but I'll show that to you all in due process so thank you for joining and I'll cut to me actually doing the the painting now thanks Okay, y'all, um, there is some noise in the background. There's a train doing, I don't know what the heck it's doing, but uh, I've got you guys a pretty good view here. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your bowl and figure out where you want it. Uh, this is a pretty big piece of canvas, and I want the planet to be pretty much the main focus. So, even if I, I'm going to drop it down here. And then what you're going to want to do is take your black. Shake, 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 shake. And all you're going to do is give a light dusting all the way around. And that's just to show where your planet's going to be. So you can go and pop that off. And as you can see, there is a pretty good indication on where your planet is. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take some white. I'm going to come in, and I know you probably can't see this very well. But I'm going to do the whole thing in white. Come back in. Give it some black splotches. I'm going to get it a couple touches of red. And then I'm going to go back over it all with some white. Just a thin coat. Now, a thing you need to remember is distance is a huge thing with this. And also, make sure that your paint cans are shook up very well. Because if they are not, then you get a lot of splatter. Uh, make sure to clean the nozzles, things like that. Now, I am going to try and use a plastic bag. 
and I'm just gonna rough it up a bit more. These usually come fairly wrinkled because, well, it's plastic. And then I'm going to put it down, put my hand in there, and pull it up. Do it again. And what this is doing is giving it a texture. It it's not going to look great right now. It's just not. The magic will come when we start filling all this in. Now I waited a little too long and the paint's dry or drying. So I'm going to take a little clear gloss. I'm going to go over it. Wet that paint up again. Go back to texturing. Make sure to fold your paper bag in on itself or you get like these strands looking, you know, pieces of the paint, things like that. Okay, that looks pretty good, but I want a little more red in it. So I'm gonna go back over a couple sections in red. Darken it up a bit with some black. And then again, a good coat of white. And back to texturing. I'm gonna do one more round of red. over the whole thing this time. Kind of give it a blood moon appearance. That's what we got. That is what we have got. Now, this doesn't look all that great, right? We take our bowl, gotta give it a few seconds to dry. It'll be a little tacky, but you notice that the paint doesn't come off on your hands. Give it a couple seconds. Um, at this point, you could take some clear spray paint, light it on fire, go over it, make sure it's real dry. I don't like doing that, mostly because I'm always afraid that if I set the paint on fire that I'm not going to get able to put it out, which is unfounded, but it is what it is. So I've lined this up in the same place that I had it before, right? So right over, match your line, make sure not to press down too hard or your planet stencil, your bowl, will stick to the paint and it'll pull paint up when you pull it up. So I'm going to take my black. And we're going to go all around it. This time we're actually going to paint the entire canvas. Sorry about that. I shook the camera. Earthquake. Uh, we're just going to do light dusting of black. Now if you don't want your space to be completely black... There are a few things you can do. You can lighten it up with some white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Oxford blue and just lightly dust. I think blue and red have a nice contrast. So we're going to do that. Some nice blue coming out. And then I'm going to lightly dust all that back with black. That way it's a blue undertone. Now this is where your gloves come in handy. So I'm going to put a glove on my left hand, if I don't rip it, because I have bear paws. And I'm going to take my first two fingers and I'm going to spray white paint right here. I'm going to do this off camera, because, okay, and you want that pooling effect. And then you're just going to flick. 
do it as many times as you want to get all those stars. Flick, 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 flick. Now I don't put too much paint on my fingers because I don't like gigantic stars. I like the, the tiny ones because it's just me. Alright. And at that point you can shed the glove. You got this nice star pattern now. Now what is going to happen next is the magic. So we're going to take this. We're going to pop that off. And you have a planet. Yay! Now what I forgot to do was shade the planet. And that's on me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to lightly coat that part of the planet. I'm going to take some black. And do the same thing to the bottom side. And I'm doing this now because I'm an idiot and forgot to do this a minute ago. I'm going to put the planet sensor back on. Take the black. Go back over all this. Put on another glove because now i got to do more stars because now my planet has no stars around it. And there's a big truck going past. We're gonna lift this up. And we have a planet. So that's real simple. The texturing adds dimension to the planet along with the shading. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add a, you can tell from my shading, my light source is coming from this way. So I am going to take a coffee can just like this coffee can I'm going to set it over here I'm going to move my canvas so it doesn't tip over I'm going to set it over here and I'm going to create a black hole which is super simple find where you want your Black hole, paint that corner super dark. Wait for the paint to dry because we don't want to mess this up. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. Hopefully, it doesn't tip over. I'm gonna shake you guys again. It's gonna tip over and it's gonna make that ring. Crap. Okay, we're going to move the black hole out just a little bit further. Okay. Now I'm going to take some white. And I'm not going to spray at the canvas, I'm going to spray at the can. So we do this. Then I'm going to take a tiny shot of red. And tiny shot of yellow. Add a little bit more red right in the center. And then we're going to pop that off. And now you have a black hole. Another thing you could do is I've got... Where did that magazine go? You can take a piece of magazine paper, like such, tear some of it off, and 
I'm going to fold a little handle here for it. And then tear. Like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just random. I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to lightly... Spray at the paper. This is where you kind of get your hands involved. Add some dimension to your space with some clouds. Now, you don't only have to do the clouds in white. I like mixing them up. So I'm gonna add some red ones. Make sure, okay, see like that? I've got way too much paint on that paper. It's gonna start dripping. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that paper aside, let it dry. So that's pretty much it. That is a space painting. It's fairly simple, fairly quick. Now, a lot of the people that do these are like, you need to sign your work. I don't like signing the top of my work. I'll sign the back of it. But there it is. It takes about 10 minutes to do if you do it all correctly. <laughs> um, there are a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube on this, but I figured I might try my hand at this one. Um, I may do a, another video of another one of these um, and speed up the video and it'll just be me painting. But thank you guys for joining. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe if you want to, hit that bell for you know notifications, all that junk. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment down below. And as always, remember, not all dragons are friendly. Stay safe out there.